practicing how to keep the peace. Britain's troops train alongside Serbian forces in a country the UK once bombed as part of a NATO mission. Now, the two sides fight together against fake terrorists in a show of unity. But one of Britain's real rivals, Russia, may eye this renewed friendship with suspicion. The British Defence Secretary said the Balkans matter for the security of Europe. We don't come here to, or any other part of the world, to, to, to sort of seduce or, or cause problems. We come here to uh, provide partnership. Could relations between London and Moscow also eventually be fixed? Ben Wallace seems hopeful, provided Russia's leader changes his ways after a meeting this week with the US President Joe Biden. Do you think that there might potentially be um, a summit at some point between Vladimir Putin and Boris Johnson? Yeah, look, uh, Boris Johnson is clearly open to meet anyone uh, where there is an important uh, step to be made uh, and stepping towards normalising relations with Russia will obviously and hopefully come, but, but it comes following certain actions. And, you know, Crimea is still illegally occupied in Ukraine uh, and there are still things to resolve. But you hope that could possibly happen? Well, look, I, I, I don't want a permanent... Uh, uh, friction between Russia and the West. That is not in anybody's interest, but, uh, you know, that's not cost-free. You have to lift that uh, based on uh, behaviours. As long as Russia remains a threat, engaging with countries like Serbia, where Moscow has deep ties, is particularly important to the UK. Who does Serbia prefer to train with, with British forces or with Russian forces? Well, we are military neutral, so we don't have to prefer to train with either. We can choose both, and that's our advantage. The Serbian defence minister hosted Ben Wallace on this two-day tour. This is the first time a British defence secretary has visited Serbia. It's a sign of the UK's desire to strengthen ties with a country it hasn't always seen eye to eye with, in particular during the Kosovo War more than 20 years ago. Rewind back even further, though, and they fought on the same side during both world wars. A shared history that's not forgotten. Deborah Haynes, Sky News at South Base, near Bojanovac in Serbia.